one more scan. Am I recording? Yeah, I'm recording. Okay. Use your cheese thing too. Yeah, it's recording. Okay, so if you want to put it. Yeah. Oh, maybe cool. I don't. Maybe right here. Yeah. Can you guys see us? <laughs> you guys see all the food? Do you want to press record, Julia Jeffer? Oh, here. There, there. Can you okay, see so the Margaret, food? Yeah. Margaret, why don't you tell everybody what you've done? Okay. Do you have the recipe going already? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Already so done. Should you? Um, okay. Do you want to do yeah. a rest? Do you, you want to do yours? No. Yeah. Yours so we're going to do the salsa chicken. So Annie's going to go ahead and share with us. We're going to help her do some of the other products, but mainly we're going to talk about the quick cooker tonight. And why are we talking about the quick cooker tonight? The kit, the kit, the kit. The kit. And, and what else? 50% off credit. 60% off any things in the book. Anything in the book for your host. So you just say, I want to join your team. Then what do you offer? $96 in May. $96 yeah. in May. Why? You don't want to say 60% off the quick no, cooker? Because that doesn't mean as much to me. I don't know. It's up. Yeah, good job. So, Annie, you take it away and tell us what to do that. Well, I can't show them in here without a phone, but in here. Well, I can lift this up, can I? Oh, sure. <laughs> Christy, do you mind lifting up and bending it over? Can you guys see inside? Yeah, that's inside. So, in here oh, we sure have that. seasoned chicken breast with carnitas and just salsa over the top of that. Then I put the rack in because we're going to do rice at the same time. Here. So. Is this my addition right? Sure, I don't know. So the ceramic pots, you can do two recipes at once or do your rice and potatoes or rice or potatoes with your meat. There's a really good teriyaki chicken in the book. So we're gonna do cilantro lime rice. I'm just gonna do the rice in the water in here, put it in there and cook everything at the same time. So I don't really have any other prep to do. <laughs> okay, but go ahead and tell like yeah. while you're getting all the other prep work done. Yeah. Tell the benefits of what you, you make with the quick cooker, how you sell it, how you talk about the features, the benefits. Okay. So you got half lot of other girl stuff yeah, over there. Yeah, those people. <laughs> so yeah, we like to talk about how you can make your whole meal in one pot, even with two different dishes. You can do your meats in just a fraction of the time. Like the chicken in this only cooks for, what, five minutes, I think. And the rice is done in five minutes. Baked potatoes are done in just a few minutes. So I do it a lot for hard-boiled eggs, and baked potatoes, anything like that that takes a while. So. And so what stands ours out from the Instapot? Everything. <laughs> so what are the two main, main differences? I'm going to turn this. The steam valve. We have our steam valve up in the middle. The button is here. The valve is here. It aims that way, so you're not going to get burned. It also has handles here. You can pick up it. And the sides stay really cool when you touch them. You could carry this thing around. You would want to while it's cooking because the steam will jump around. But once you let the steam out, you can carry it to the table and serve right in there, or you can take the pot out and bring it right to your table. So what, so what's the other buttons that we have that they don't have? Uh, i got to turn this around here. I'll speak to you. So now I can't see. Can you see? Do you need help? Oh, you, you want to point out the buttons oh, now yeah. that I turned it away. <laughs> well, go ahead. Why don't you go ahead and press the button? Can you see? Okay, so we're going to set, I have this. This is the button in the top that this is going to release your pressure, so make sure this is flat and your steam clouds line up in the same direction. Make sure this isn't sticky or anything. You should do that before you put the lid on. Yeah, you need, not that, right? What do you want her to do? You want turn her to turn it to chicken, yep, right? Turn it so you just turn the dial all the way up. So you follow the light right here. So it's yep. on sear, steam, slow cooker, proof. Then it goes to the chicken, chicken. so it goes across the top and then yep. it goes to the bottom? Yep. Yep. yep, and then to change your time, we don't want it for 15 minutes, we want it, I'm going to do it a, like six minutes, I think, so push time, change your thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the, but you have to remember, it builds up the pressure. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know, but I do it for 15 minutes, I must have pretty well done chicken. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh no, six minutes. It says five in the book. I do six or seven. Okay, can I show you another thing too? We did frozen. You can do frozen chicken in twelve minutes. Say it again. Frozen chicken <laughs> in twelve minutes, just the same way. I'm gonna show you something now. If you pass cancel here too, and you just say custom, and then that's time. Your, that's high you pressure. Can go, so you can adjust yep. that. So too. now I can just go down to six minutes instead too. You don't have to select one of the buttons below. 
And your whole book that comes with this tells you those step-by-step -step directions. And then you can oh, that. So, so you said six, table. right? Six, yep. Okay. Let's start. Let's start. Yep. I think it's your battery. Okay, so there we got that going. Anything else right now that we got to do? Um, we are going to shred some cheese with our cheese <laughs> microphone grater. <laughs> and why, yeah, no, that's right. And why do we want to shred here? Why do we want to use this grater rather than buying shredded cheese? Oh, because shredded cheese does not melt as well. Do they see you? No. <laughs> they see me, but not my face. How about now? Yeah, now they won't see what I'm doing. Now you're on the ceiling. Oh my god. <laughs> Maybe down's better. Here. Okay. Shredded cheese doesn't have the preservatives like the cellulose in them. So your cheese is going to taste better, melt better. You get more, it seems like you get more when you shred it for the ounces in your bag than what you get in the bag. And what's in so, the bag? Why wouldn't we want to eat the stuff in the bag? It's full of gross preservatives like cellulose. <laughs> cellulose. <laughs> cellulose is a sawdust, yeah. basically. And you know what? If you really share this with people, mm -hmm. they'll buy it. The Oh, it's good. Oh. <laughs> okay, Allison. I always tell people that cellulose sounds too much like cellulite, and I have enough of that, so I don't need any more. I'm just like, take a away in the last three months. Okay, there. Humor right involved in that. That was a very good one. I'm going to use that. So, I love that. Jizzy? That was very I think good. you guys are probably going to get Indy in there. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Does anybody else have online to add anything else about the cheese grater or cheese? This is just one of the toppings. The rice is going to have cilantro and lime juice in it. Let's go with our tacos. Why is, why is she on? No, why is, I want to speak for you, but that's not you. Oh, I don't know. No? Okay. Okay, so. This is just their topping. Um, I also I've had that happen twice. What's that? Yeah. To do what? At a party, they were supposed to buy cilantro and they both bought you parsley. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. That is um, one in ten people don't like cilantro. You guys are missing something good over here. So one in ten people don't like cilantro because it's a genetic thing. It makes it taste like salt. Yeah. Oh, so it's genetic, so don't the diss them for not liking we cilantro. I always ask, and then I leave yeah. a little bit of cilantro all of, like if they hate it because it makes everything taste salty. So yeah. it's real. I'm not it's one of those true. one it's people. Yeah. Yeah. There's like one yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh my gosh. That's true. I don't like it. Saturday was like that too. I have to get the. What do you need over there? I can get it. Well, none of this is ready yet. I, mean, I have lime juice and cilantro to add later. So okay, so okay, Margaret, do I come over here and talk about yeah. what you have in this pot? Yep. So in this pot, we have the cheddar um, chicken risotto, cheddar broccoli risotto with chicken. It's a really good like comfort yeah. food oh, hot dish. <laughs> it's just how much I use this, like all the time, ah! falling apart. I use that all the time. I probably use like this every week, and I'm making a meal that's different like for my kids. Cheddar broccoli risotto with chicken, and it comes together pretty fast. Um, we sauteed, the quick cooker has a sear function on it, and so we sauteed one red pepper and one onion and two garlic cloves. We chopped them up with the manual food processor. But this month, you could use the food chopper because a dollar of those sales will go to um, breast cancer research. So we chopped up the onion pepper, the garlic, we seared it for three minutes with two tablespoons of um, cooking oil. And then after that seared, we added um, a pound of cut up chicken. Let's make sure it's a pound. Yeah, yeah. yeah. tenderloins or chicken breast cut up. You cut it up ahead of time. And dump that in three cups of chicken broth and then a tablespoon of Dijon mustard. And then we just set it to the rice <laughs> setting. So right now it's on rice. Um, it's still pressuring up. The red button is almost popped to the top, um, which means it's almost coming to pressure. And then you'll see the four minutes pop on here as soon as that red button goes up. And then we'll cook it for four minutes and then we'll release the steam. And then we're just gonna add a cup of shredded cheddar 
two ounces of cream cheese, and some cut up broccoli. So again, this recipe is in the, I don't know if you guys all have the quick cooker, um, but it's in the cooking guide. The and you can cheese. print that up online. And you can yeah. buy it under supply order. Yeah, I'll be buying yeah. another one. <laughs> And with this too, what you guys, I think it's really important to mention, which I don't know if I have it here, but that other book that it comes with, mm -hmm. the one that tells you like step by step how to get started. started. Yes. Um, I just think that's so important to really, when people first start, because the biggest thing is that they're going to get customer service with you guys. Yep. So. And I do talk about this book because it shows you some really easy things to make first, like rice and some vegetables and breads, and then it gets into more of the... Um, things you'd make for supper a little bit further back in the book, but there's also desserts that you can make in it too. There's a recipe for chocolate pudding and then the strawberry cheesecake if you have the accessory, the spring form pans. So very good. I One of the things I've started using it for um, is simply just to make vegetables like buying frozen bags of green beans and putting them in there and um, four minutes at pressure and I did uh, three ginormous bags of green beans from Bible study and um, just keeps the flavor in there. Just, mm -hmm. it just is so flavorful. Do you and put them in the big silver pot? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in the silver pot with chicken broth. Or like cabbage, um, not everybody likes cabbage, but yep. you can make like a whole cabbage in a few minutes. It's just yeah. like oh, you've been husband loves cabbage. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Hard boiled eggs too. Every other day we probably That's make so five or six hard boiled eggs because yeah. my son likes them and I do too. So it only takes 12 minutes and they peel real easy. So I use it a lot. And rice, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So a really good rice recipe is um, the jasmine rice. It's like two cups of the rice, three cups of chicken broth, and then a tablespoon of the Asian seasoning. You stir it up, it's so good. It makes it kind of like sticky, sticky rice. And then I take that and I stir fry it in my wok. And then we have like kind of the, like when you go to Kobe's or the grill, you fry the rice and then we have it. So, so we're just waiting. Um, it's almost up to pressure. The red button's up. Hopefully it's going to. We could have started at the same time and I race. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to have Jennifer share it closer to the end. But can we, do you want to turn it back around here and we'll talk about the quick cooker a little bit more? Or do you still have more to say about that one? I think we're, well, now we're just waiting for it to come to pressure. It should any minute. Okay. I'm going to show them the timer when one of them is ready. Here. Yeah. The red button's like. Oh, so. Cool. Okay. Yes. Margaret's up, yeah. Yeah. I've been watching them. <laughs> this takes a little longer. The more stuff you have in your pot, the longer it takes to come up to pressure. Like hard-boiled eggs, like two mm -hmm. minutes, I think, mm -hmm. the button pops up. Unless you forget to put your ring back in like I did oh, yeah. last night. Like, these are taking you forever. It doesn't come to pressure if you don't have the ring in it. So, And we talked about that too, the rings, that you can get the set of two rings. There's a black and like a turquoise in my blue ring. And then you can use one for savory meals because it, it gets, um, after a while it smells because it absorbs the orders. That one's for cheesecake. And then, yeah, have your cheesecake <laughs> ring. <laughs> So, or like, hi, I'm here. What's that one? Show again? Yeah. Back when? The mirror girl. Oh, I was thinking of like. The oh, oh that's the song. Oh, <laughs> the doors? It's that no. door? No. No. The a wrong door. room. So I cool. love dating myself. I'm trying to. <laughs> And I'm fine. <laughs> I'm not suffering. I remember that. I just don't know. I see you. 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 I see you guys getting seasick as I'll just turning this thing around. Um, just uh, one thing to keep in mind, like when you see the amount of time that it takes with the cooker, um, I thought at first that the amount of time that it said was the amount of time that it took, but you have to take into account the time to bring it up to pressure. It's like we were waiting there, so you need to add 10 to 15 minutes on to the amount for the building up to pressure. 
So, okay, so we're gonna go over just a couple things here about, I we already talked about bookings a little bit, about this quick cooker. And then we're gonna talk more about the business when we actually go to the um, opportunity event tonight. But I do have some like, you guys have to, Melissa's gonna give tickets, so. But who joined us last month? So who joined us in either April or May? No, I March. Wow, well, I don't want to skip all that one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, I was here. Is that what you're asking? No. <laughs> who hit a new level or title in April for the very first time? <laughs> I got the Debbie Downer I mean, a little I left hit, of me. I hit one, but I've been there before. <laughs> you did, though. I saw that. Okay. <laughs> who held their very first show last month? Me. Okay. <laughs> So tell us, how did it go? Tell us a little bit about it. Um, I had my first in-house show, and it went really well, but my host was very motivated. She's like, I'm going to get to 1,000 bucks. And she did 1,100, I think. So she collected a lot of outside orders, and those were key. Because I actually, like all these people that RSVP'd, and then here in North Dakota, we had a blizzard that day. That's our April blizzard day. Yeah. And um, so only three people came. All three people ordered really well, but um, it was it was all those outside orders, and so even though it was an in-house event, I made a Facebook event and I posted things and I followed up with anyone who commented. And awesome. Very good, great job. Either girl on here had your first party last month. Missy, do you want to unmute yourself? So tell us, you did an online party, right? No, I had my first, I've done a couple oh, of online parties. I had my first in-home party last month, too. I can't hear you, honey. She unmuted herself. I'm unmuted. She does. Or no, oh, no, you. I guess I got How do I do? I oh. might be. Oh, yeah, she does. Yeah. Missy, we can't hear you. Can we hear the other girl? She talks. Kathy, talk to me for a minute. Can we hear you? She said that she had her first in-home party last month, and she hosted or she did a couple of online parties already. Good, 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 good. Okay, so Missy's gonna find out. Thank you. I just wanted to make sure the volume was okay. Okay, so who earned the sales promotion last month? I did. And what'd you earn? Everything. Woo! Who's excited about the new product that we earned in? April. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what are they? The freezer. Yeah. The freezer bowls. Oh yeah, I saw those. That's exciting. I like that. Chill and serve. I don't have a Chill and serve, and then what else? That's the stuff that you can put ice cream in. Yeah. yeah. The ice cream spade. Yeah. yeah. Like yeah. Spade. yeah. So I tell me quick, spade. since you seem to know what you're talking about there, Allison. What I don't know that I do, but okay. Allison knows a lot, so I just asked her. She's like my go-to guru. Okay, tell me an ice cream spade. Why would I want that? Um, because it's good for getting ice cream out of like the corners oh. and for flat things. She told you she did know. I knew that she would know. <laughs> You're gonna make chocolate curls with that now, aren't you? You know what's gonna? It's gonna be real. I just thought of this when you said flat things. That'll be really good for the ice cream cake. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh. Whoops. Who's it? Who's is that? No, you're not getting anything. Kathy. Kathy's Amber Alert. Oh, Kathy by Kristen. By Grandpa. Well, I'm not getting anything. Tristan. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna talk about the summer. Are you guys ready? Do you guys remember this? By the way, you're gonna be planning Patty. Can you read? What? Can you read? Yeah. Oh, you're gonna read. Okay, I guess she wants to read. She said less hot though, Steve, so that's fine. Oh! <laughs> okay, you know? so we're going to talk I'm about why friend. you want May to be very, very, very booked up. First of all, there's amazing promotions, which, okay, if you're earning, if you want to earn Disney, what is the biggest promotion this month? Double, yeah, double, yeah. Nice double yeah. recruits. So instead of 3,000, it is six. six. So if I recruited 10 people in this month, 60,000 points. 60, and how many points do I need for the level. trip? There you have it the did. first level. Just for sharing this business, just like you guys were offered the business opportunity. So that's why we're using 
we're talking about this, that's a benefit to you. Okay, so what does, what do we have available for our friends that might join this business and why do we want to ask them for this month? The amazing kit. Have to yeah. So, not only do we have an awesome kit, but we also have half price kit be rebate, which $109 kit, you get $54.50 back. And how much is the quick cooker? Oh, $240. So that's not even a quarter of it. Quarter of it, yeah. So that's the other thing. What can we earn this month as consultants for our sales? New products. New fall products. And how many levels are there? Three. And what's the first level? Second, fifteen hundred, fifteen hundred, and then three is stuff. Tanya got fifteen hundred and three, which that shocks me, you guys. Just so you know, that haven't been here for a while. Three thousand dollars is the top level for this month, and usually it's six thousand. Now we're gonna say it, Jennifer. Jennifer, how else can you earn those besides as a consultant? Be a director. And what do you get? <laughs> director kit. So guess what? I'm gonna get two of them. Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> yep, she got that going on. She got that going on. Okay. What then she's gonna come to my house and give them to me. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's not because Allison is actually amazing and Allison should be walking across stage as director when we go to conference in July. I'm gonna go. I know where Allison lives. So I'm gonna go to her house and plug them. Okay, also the Help With Cancer campaign. I can't stress enough that the number one way, Jennifer actually probably should tell you, because I don't do all the online parties you do. But how are you going to be able to sell the quick How can you sell these Help With Cancer products? What, what do you need to do as a virtual consultant to do that? Talk it up. And how do you do that? Do you just put posts on your Facebook, or what do you do? I put posts, or I do a live video. I tell the host about it, so they can, I tell the host to go on and, um, Make a comment about let's sell a lot of these so we make a good donation to perfect. Perfect. Tanya wants to say something. Okay, so I did a I'm a member of a networking group and I was able to do a business spotlight recently and so I focused on the help with cancer. Look at these products that they're offering. We have the snack bar maker, the whipped cream maker, the food chopper, and the measuring, um, the measure all. You guys, you can create a mini party with these items. You can do snack bars, make the whipped cream, dip the snack bars in the whipped cream, there's your party. I mean, come on. Oh! It was, Bam! It was a lot of fun. We made coconut awesome. whipped cream and regular whipped cream. Um, Unfortunately, I didn't think about the snack bar thing, so we actually made brownies, but after I was putting it all together, I went, oh, you could use all these products and create a mini office party and go for it. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So. And so what I want you guys to hear right there is just what she said. To be, do, Jennifer, can you tell me this or anybody else? I feel like to be successful at virtual parties, you have to do exactly what you do as a cooking show and build relationships. They get to know my voice way more than I say, oh, here, buy this Help With Cancer product and do a post. They have to get to know you, and they have to get to know why they want to keep doing business with you. Because just to remind everybody, they will buy in spite of you. People will buy because they're supporting their friend. They're going to book and join your team because of you. And if they don't know who you are, forget it. And that's the biggest thing I can say is this business is all about building relationships. Okay, so that help with cancer campaign this month, just like what Tanya said, you know what, go live with your whipped cream maker. Go live, you know, do that idea for the snack bar if you don't have it. If you guys don't have these products, that doesn't mean you can't get online and talk about them. You know, to me, I mean, don't you guys agree? Mm -hmm. So that's the specials this month and May, you know, really? So what did Margaret say? Margaret, okay, so how can, if somebody wants to join your team, how can they get the quick cooker? The quick cooker is, Part of the new startup kits for the summer startup kit. Maybe. Just for this month, though. Yeah, it says summer startup kit just for the month of May, probably, and it's $109. And you get the quick cooker and the flexible cutting mask, color coded color coated knife, That's a garlic cool. press, and a yeah. salad chopper. Yeah. And, and, the seasoning. Tongs. and the and tongs and tongs and the seasoning and um, $400 worth of products. So you get that all for $109, and if you can help that um, consultant get $1,250 in sales, 
within 30 days, they get a $50 or $54 rebate. So they're getting it all for $54. And you, the big thing is you get 6,000 points towards the Disney trip. So we can find five friends or family or um, guests to sign up and get the new kit. And they all qualify within 30 days. You get 30,000 points for Disney. You'd be more than halfway there. And you can go to director. And listen to her because she's one of the ones that are going to Arizona this month. She's earned a yeah. trip. First time ever, and it Tomorrow. was because of you. <laughs> and I lucked out at the end of the year. And like, Locked out? Well, I did stuff. In time, maybe she did. But I had, I had strong sales. Help me. Yeah, mm -hmm. that really did. Yeah. I wasn't expecting it. I am going to say, though, okay, I'm going to say about the business, honestly, because I can't stress this enough. If you guys really, this month is the time, if you've ever been afraid to recruit or afraid to share the business, this is the month because sharing the business is not about any of us. I, I 100% hands down. You can't tell me Margaret's okay. We've been friends for a long time. She's been a, on our, in our, our team for a long time, but you can't tell me that I don't get warm fuzzies knowing she's going to go on her first trip with Pamper Chuck. And now I'm going to talk to you. Because honestly, like nobody can ever, that feeling that you get from helping somebody else reach their goals. It, I can't stress, but that's like when Jennifer bought her door, I mean, you know how happy I was? I'm like, hey, guess what? Jennifer bought a door. This year I bought a stove. Yeah, not just buy a stove. The reality is, is if you can get past yourself and just realize, like, even tonight's opportunity event, all you're doing is asking and giving other people the opportunity to find out more about this business. And so by doing that this month, this is the month that you're going to do it scared because I can tell you in 14 years in this business, I've never seen anything like this. Melissa? No. Have you ever seen anything like that? I know. I no. need one of those curtain things there up there. Sorry. No. <laughs> um, so what I want to talk about, though, too, is this is my guest room. I'm going to go back here. Okay. We're going to talk about this summer. And we're going to talk about May because May is a gift. They're giving you a gift to be able to get parties booked for people to join your team and for people to buy products. No, don't do that. Don't you want to wait for the opportunity event? Oh, okay. Because even we're gonna talk about it, then we'll talk. Oh. Then I'll go into my thing. We're gonna start with you. Is that okay? Okay. Okay. Is that a good plan? Okay. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> little little technical planning. <laughs> Just kidding. Anyway, um. So I'm gonna what we're gonna do right now is I'm gonna make sure that you guys know why May is very important to set up your whole summer. I am gonna tell you I am I work from home. I have three kids. One of them's in college, and that doesn't make a difference. I think my life's gotten more busy because of that. And, but again, I work from home. So you got to remember, nine months out of the year, my kids are gone all day, and that's when I work my business. So the summer is all about making sure that I plan. So guess what? There's lots of times I get up at 5 o'clock in the morning and work because I want to go to the lake for the rest of the day. There's lots of times I have to stay up till 1 o'clock in the morning because no matter what, I still have to make this income. So Tanya and I are going to do a little skip. Oh, no. <laughs> can you get Tanya come over by me or come over by Mal no how are we gonna do that what about that way Maybe. is that better yeah okay so Tanya I'm gonna be summer Sally and Tanya's gonna be planning Patty all right so you're Patty okay so I want to ask you guys who you're gonna be is everybody listening to me over there yep, yep. thank you Summer Sally has three small children. She has been a Pampered Chef consultant for two years and really loves it. But this summer, with the children involved in so many activities, Sally decided to take the summer off. Oh, my God. <laughs> she decided she would do one show at the end of May, turn it into June, turn it in June, and take July and August off to keep from going inactive and losing her career sales of $49,000, oh her 2% raise, and the two consultants she had by building her team, Sally wisely made sure she had a catalog show going so she would have $200 to turn in at the end of August. Okay, right? Anybody? Okay. <laughs> she went to every ball game the kids had, took small day trips and weekend excursions, joined the local pool and got a great tan, worked around her house and spent every waking minute with her kids. I wouldn't even want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that sounds terrible. <laughs> now that I don't have kids at home, it sounds kind of nice. 
actually. <laughs> Jennifer, you can come over anytime. <laughs> what a great time they had. Sally was having so much fun. She forgot to send the catalogs to her catalog show hostess <gasps> in August. Uh-oh. By the <laughs> You might have to spend the night. <laughs> uh, she, uh, anyway, by the time she remembered, the host was the hostess was gone on her own family vacation. There was not time to make the catalog show count for August. Sally was in a panic. She got on the phone and put some orders together just in time to stay active, but found that no one from her shows three months earlier wanted to do their shows anymore. In fact, some had already had a show with another consultant because it had been so long. Now Sally had to work three times as hard at the end of the summer to get her fall back together, and she was missing some of the kids' back-to-school activities. This just was not fun. It was like starting all over again. Sally decided next summer would be different. I am going to tell you I'm very guilty of this, and it is not fun. It is not fun, like, not to have a plan going into the summer, because I am. I like to have fun in the summer. Everybody likes to have fun in the summer. Everybody wants to have parties in the summer or everybody doesn't want to have parties in the summer. It really depends on how you're going to look at it. So Tanya here, she's planning Patty. So she's going to tell us what planning Patty does. So planning Patty also had three small children and looked forward to spending some extra time with the kids this summer. First, she looked at her calendar and marked off all the days that she really could not work. She made it a priority to attend three of every four ball games the kids had. On rare occasions, she and her husband missed a game. Patty found that the kids liked it when the sitter or grandparents could take them or watch them play. Next, she planned one day trip each week. Then she marked off several weekends where the entire family could get away. <clears throat> Or just do things around town. Patty's next step was to work her pamper chef count, work on her pamper chef calendar. She made it a goal to do six shows every month. She knew that to accomplish this, she would need to book eight or nine because summer because of summer cancellations. She shared her plan at her shows on how she was going to enjoy her summer with her kids while working on her own schedule. The money she was earning was paying for the weekend trips and special activities for the kids were special activities that the kids were enjoying. She let them know how many nights she planned to work and that she only had a few dates left for whatever month she was booking. By sharing her story, Patty made other moms realize what a great job she had. She and added two people to her team by the end of August. With six shows each month through the summer, Patty had a stack of leads for fall shows. She was ready to increase her show schedule and looked forward to paying for Christmas with cash. Who will you be this summer? Woo! So, Jennifer, are you be a Patty Patty or Summer Sally? And Jennifer has like, she doesn't teach in the summer and she goes to the lake a lot, so what will you be? I'm always a Patty Patty. Yeah, she is. Melissa? <laughs> <laughs> Patty. 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 Allison. She knew I was looking at her. Oh, Allison's eating. Okay, Brenda's going to be planning Patty. Kathy, what about you? Planning Patty. Woohoo! Missy? <laughs> Did your volume work yet? I am planning Patty. Missy, planning Patty. So, everybody. We have this recorded, so <laughs> blackmail's going in the house. Oh, Allison. Sally. Don't listen to Allison. We knew she'd say that. She's the fun one. She's the funny one in the group. There has to be one in every crowd. She's, the, she's yeah. the pessimist of the yeah. group. <laughs> so I want you guys to think about this, and I want everybody in this room to think about this. When you go home tonight, I want you to set a financial goal what you want to make this summer, because frankly... I think the summer is the most expensive out of the whole year. Like my, I pay $400 for my son to be a baseball. Then my daughter goes over here and we play for this. We go to conference, national conference. This year, we're planning a road trip. I'm planning a road trip with my kids. Where does the money come from? You. Yeah. So I better make some money, right? So I want you guys to set a financial goal. A good rule of thumb is this. Divide what you want to make this summer. So if you want to make $3,000, Divide that by $100. The average commission will be used, for example, for a show, for a Facebook party, right? So that's going to determine how many shows you need. So 100 into 3,000 is what? 30. 
So 30 shows, if you want to make $3,000 in June, July, and August, you need to have 30 shows. 10 shows a month. 10 shows a month. Is that realistic, Jennifer? Yes. Because Jennifer, how many virtual parties should you do each week? Or do you, want, do, you do each week for planning purposes? In the summer? It, well, yeah, in the summer you do more. Yeah, in the summer fun. I do more, but typically I do four the first week of the month and four the third week. Okay, and why do you do four at a time rather than one at a time? Because they're all the same and it's way easier. Okay. And then I have week two to get done with the four shows from week one, and I have week four to be done, get the other shows done. And then I'm green by 15, and I get a check both times. And tell everybody, what is your average sales each month? I don't really know, but it's right around 4,000. Are you guys your own business owners? Those numbers should be coming. Come in, come in. It's right around 4,000. It is right around 4,000. Yeah. <laughs> so everybody knew what her money was except well, her. And, <laughs> and, the, and the reason that it's around 4000 is because my percentage is up, um, at 4000 So last month I turned a party in to be 4025 and I held a party till the next day so that I could have it this month. <laughs> yep. Okay. Yep. So I want you guys to think about how much money you want to make and what you're going to use it for. Because you know what? Your why is not going to be my why. Your why is not going to be Jennifer's why. I don't think you're going to get a new stove, or maybe you do need a new stove too. Your why is what drives you, but also you are your own CEO. You are your business owner, okay? You are it. So the buck stops at you. And what that means is that as a CEO, you have to do some planning. Planning, like planning ahead, knowing June, July, and August are going to be very busy. Knowing that you want to go outside, knowing you can go to the pool, knowing you can go to the lake. So after you, make, you figure out the money, then you're going to divide it by the month. So like if you want to have 10 parties, then Jennifer can go on to the first week and say five highlighting green so she knows she has five parties scheduled or that she needs to have five parties scheduled. Nothing can stop you when you're determined. That's my new favorite word, everybody. Determined? determined. Yeah. I like it. Because there's a difference between determined and desperate. And oh, yeah. I'm desperate. Like when you say, oh, my host doesn't want to do this, my host, baloney. I'm determined because nobody else has charge of my calendar except me. I'm going to have five shows. So I can't blame the person down the street that just canceled the party, right? Because that's going to get me what? What is that going to get me? Anybody? Mad. Yeah. It's going to be mad. <laughs> it's going to be mad, frustrated. frustrated. <laughs> You're all negative things, right? Yeah. And so what comes with negative things? No Headaches. business. Headaches. No business. No action. Mm -hmm. Your actions follow your foremost thoughts. So if you go in there with the attitude saying, I'm having 10 shows in June, 10 shows in July, 10 shows in August, I'm going to make this much money. I'm going to do this with that money. What's going to happen? going to do it. You're going to do it, right? Okay. So then you need to create the calendar for June, July, and August. So after you know your shows and stuff, what you can, when you can work, mark off your commitments. Like when are you going to the lake? When are you going to a national conference? When do you have to be at work for uh, last year, the reporting? Schedule your play time. So like on our calendar, what I do within my family calendars, I'll say, okay, I'm going to work Monday through Thursday and this, and then every Friday is our play day. And then Friday we plan something. Like we either go to the park or go to the the lake or go do something like that i use different colored markers but i'm going to tell you too like that's really be planning caddy and make sure that you do that with your schedule now going in the quick cooker workshop i am going to send this link but did you guys know there's like a whole quick cooker and training on the pan for chef website <laughs> mm -mm. Yeah. like it actually has you can share the collection it has the training plan because i don't know if everybody knew this but when you're a host or when your customer buys a quick cooker Pamper Chef will automatically send them emails on your behalf every so often. So the emails are even on there. You can see them. <laughs> Post-purchase emails. You can actually get words to say, how to clean it, how to get words to book parties, how to get words to join your team. So everything is on there. The reason why we talk about the Quick Cooker Workshop, does anybody know who Marna Ross is? Yeah. Okay. Marna Ross is the funniest lady ever. I'm just going to tell you that. And she's also a very good business owner. I mean, she's funny and she's a very good business owner. She said... Huh? She's your friend. My friend, I like her. She's everyone's friend. She is everyone's friend. You guys could probably, she'd probably be your friend too, so that doesn't probably mean nothing. <laughs> <laughs> she, she said she, at her when she gave her beautiful speech that made everybody cry, that she was here with all of her friends. Yes. Oh, Allison made him hear that, I don't think. But that one. <laughs> Side note, go to conference. It's the best. You bet. <laughs> well, did that sell y'all on that, everybody? <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? I'm going to tell you in here. If nothing else, it's a vacation away from a significant other or kids. 
I, I, I am going to say, since we're going to stop there for a minute, Jennifer. No, nope. Jennifer's going to conference the first time this year. Melissa, how many times have you been to conference? And why do you go? Because she wins stuff all the time. She does. <laughs> <laughs> Two golden tickets in the quick. <laughs> She's the only one. I'm sorry if you know if you guys are gonna go just just to forewarn you. Was the only one that win. wins out of the group? She's it. She's so we just cheer for her because at least we know somebody. So Melissa, though, really, why do you go? What do you think it helps you in your business? Then? It gives you different motivation. It inspires you. She's not even on. It's like it's it? like glare. Oh, it's the glare. Yeah, it's glare. Yeah. Oh, that way. There you go. Yeah. Oh, there a little higher. A little bit higher. Yeah. Um, <laughs> motivation <laughs> inspires, you know, obviously them seeing the new products, getting a chance to win some of the stuff that they give away. It's just, and, and of course, the products. The wine. And fun. fun. Like we do, we go out to dinner together, we try different things. I mean, I think the black, but. Yeah, it's fun. It's a nice getaway and I look forward to it. Okay. You've been to conference. This will be my fourth year at conference. So I've decided to go every year. Um, I go for basically all the reasons that Melissa said. It's just the camaraderie, um, getting to see all the new products first before anybody else. That's kind of fun. Seeing the people walk across stage and giving you that that motivation that hey, if they can do it, I can do it. Hearing the different stories of the different consultants and directors and how they got to where they are, it's very motivational. Awesome. Annie, are you coming with us? I'm not going this year. We're going to skip over her. Then. <laughs> but you know what? Allison. The night's not over yet. Allison? You bet your bottom dollar. And why are you going to go? Because I get to get away from my house and my dogs. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm the best roommate ever. Because <laughs> I'm the best roommate. Margaret's great too. Huh? Except for she's my roommate. I know. Um, <laughs> I get hiding back. <laughs> um, it's just fun. It's fun to be around like-minded people who are motivated, and um, someone's got to be Brenda's keeper. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm pretty lucky. They keep me in check. Tell me where to be, what time, where to go. Keep save, me a seat. They save me a seat too. I went. Time. They're pretty awesome. So this will be my fourth year going. Um, I went a while back. And Louisville, but then I couldn't go for two years, and now this will be my third year in a row. But the experience is just like hard to even describe. Like, they have a DJ that's playing music when you walk in, and everybody's so excited. It's just incredible. I think it's so motivating. I don't know, you leave feeling like you've been conquered in the Chef world. Right? <laughs> you do, <laughs> you do. Are you considering it this year, honey? Not this year. Okay, I'm going back to so Missy, newbie. You gotta unmute yourself, Missy. Yes. Tell everybody why you decided to go to conference because you already signed up. Woohoo! <laughs> um, Nothing. Because everybody says it's a really good idea and like everything everybody oh said. <laughs> okay, Missy, go ahead. I'm sorry. Oh, like what everybody said, it's just, it sounds like it's gonna be a really good time. Learn a lot of new stuff, get some new products, and like some other people said to get out of my house and get away from my kids and, and, and go Missy, on a vacation and just go away and tell everybody what your what's your plan to do at national conference this year uh walk across the stage at least once you know as dress. a director in a Woo! red dress so, and i'm gonna say to you guys one thing about national conference and i'll just leave it at this is that I feel like when you go your first time, you really believe that anything is possible because you know what? We're all the same. And so when you see all these people walking across stage and you're thinking, what you got to think is instead of saying, well, just think, why not me? Why can't you do that? And so I'm really going to tell you that I would really encourage you to go to national conference, but I'm also going to end it with this quick cooker workshop because we have to hang up and go to that other opportunity event. But I want to tell you what Marna Ross told me. She said that every single month, there should be no reason that you don't have one party by the 15th of every month. Because if you really want to build your business and customer service, you have a cooking class in your home every single month to teach somebody something, to help your customers. Maybe you do it online. So the quick cooker workshop is just like any of the cooking classes, just like the online party. But you know what? You're going to call it something different. 
you're going to say, I am hosting a quick cooker one-on-one. Anybody have one? Anybody have an Instapot? Anybody's thinking about one? Come join me this date and this time, okay? So you're going to offer this service to your customers, Rock Crocs, Deep Cover Bakers, Maybe, because the one thing is, those of us that have done cooking shows and the online parties, there might be people that don't want to have a party, but I can honestly tell you, they're interested in attending another party. You know how many times people tell me that? Well, I'd go to another party, so why not keep a list of people that said that? Anybody? Okay, what else could you do this summer? So, like, for example, Margaret, just so you guys know, are you hearing this? Everybody in this room, so I don't forget to say this. June, July, and August, we are not going to have this live teaming time because in June, Margaret is going to offer a grilling workshop. In July, Jennifer is going to offer a little lake retreat for all of us that are late. And then in August is our big fall launch. So we'll all be doing that together, and we'll be all live together. So those dates will be coming out, too. So just for the summer, we're going to do something a little different. Um, the other thing with the recipes, like giving them recipes, I am going to tell you this quick cooker is amazing. And if you're not taking advantage of it right now and really learning everything that you can do online about it, you are missing the boat because I have sold a lot of these. So we are going, I'm going to let Jennifer take over and close it up and end the recording. And then we're going to go ahead and get on the opportunity event. We're going to share some more information about the quick cooker on there. Okay. Okay. Thank you, ladies, for joining us tonight. I hope you're going to hop over to the opportunity event. And um, do either of you have the quick cooker? No. No? Okay. So that might be something you want to think about, Missy, but um, you got to prioritize so you can't get it all at once. So I get it. All right. So I hope you are going to hop over. Uh, I, I think, Missy, you are. You have somebody coming, right? And then I'll go in there. Yep. Okay. So we'll see you there. Uh, so next month we'll be doing a freezer meal workshop, um, on grilling. Um, so maybe you guys can, I don't know, Missy, where do you live? I live in Southern Minnesota. Okay. Never mind. Kathy, where do you live? Arbella. You came once though, didn't you? What? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It gets to be late getting home. Right, right. Okay. Well, you guys have a great night and thanks for hopping on. Bye. Bye. Stop. Bye.